With Debbie refusing to take any part in any of the slicing and dicing, the team is a man down. Across the kitchen, the blues dad Martin is getting a bit over-enthusiastic. Treat it like your wife, love. Gentle. I think there's an issue here somehow. On the plus side, the families are sticking to their own jobs, so far. Matthew is at a critical stage in the pudding preparation. Oh, my God, this is the cream this year. I, I really can hardly bear even looking at them because this is where it went wrong before. If Matthew's put too much flour in the mixture, it'll be far too thick. The souffle timing is crucial. They can only be tasted within a minute or two of being cooked. It doesn't seem to have turned rock hard yet. At least they've got something right. There are eight different ingredients in the paella. Each has to be prepared and cooked in the right order. In the red team, the sherrets are about to make their first major mistake. The hob is way too hot for the fish. The sherrets are threatening to ruin their paella with overcooked seafood. Meanwhile, it appears that Daniel is fighting a losing battle. The onions aren't brown. The onions aren't cooked. The onions are supposed to go brown with the pepper. What are you doing now, my It's turning into a mash. On the blue team, every ingredient is causing confusion. What are you taking the beans off for? No, I'm, taking, I'm taking the beans because I'm putting the beans on this one. I'll cut that. Gainer Tai is threatening to boil over. No. Stop fighting over the pan. Oh, yeah, Stop talking. Poor Daniel. I don't know, he's trying so hard to bring them back from the brink. And they're just not, gonna, they're just not listening to him. And actually, he's the only one who has any sense at all. Stop. Stop doing that. You're supposed to be using tongs. That's what we're looking for. Why don't you ask for them? Things are just getting to, getting to be broken down. People are making like tiny mistakes. And once mistakes are made, people start picking at them. I'm not disappointed at all, because I, I expected that. Well, Martin, instead of butting him, why don't you start on the muscles, if you know how to do them? Oh, because of muscles. Muscles in water, please. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. They have now been arguing for 15 minutes. It all seems to be breaking down. I don't know what the matter is with them. I'm arguing because Martin's forgot to put the rabbit in, and then he's trying to put the oysters in, which check about, which are already cooked, so... You can put them in last, but the rabbit, which is... Oh, goes in at the right time. Right. Yeah, but the rabbit... It's right. ...meat and it's right. Cooked. 30 minutes left to go. Daniel, we want me to do these prawns. No! What? Don't do that! You said don't cook it in the same juice. Right, we'll put some more juice in then now. Away from the hot tempers of the blue team, the reds are chilled out and loving it. Definitely. This is, this is spot on. Roll it around the top. Right, roll it on its side. That's it. Make sure it's round your edges. Tip it back into the bowl. Well done. The finishing touches could make all the difference. A panel of food experts will be judging for taste, texture and presentation. Helping Rosemary decide is Jörg Bleicher, a restaurateur from North Yorkshire. And Jeanette Scarth, a commercial cheesemaker. While the judges get settled in, the teams have just 20 minutes for the notoriously tricky souffle preparation. Remember, this is the dish that sank the ties yesterday. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, give it here. As the seconds run out, both teams appear to be cracking under the pressure. <laughs> Look at them go. The souffles have 10 minutes to rise, or not, while the paellas are judged. Bang it, oh, they'll go down. Coming up, I must now face the judges. It's a bit like um, marshmallow. There's blame and recrimination. We did not, hang on a minute, I'm talking. But there can only be one winner. And the winner is... They arrived barely knowing what a fresh vegetable looked like. My favourite. Suet pudding. 
but after two days of chopping, stirring and blending for our two families, it all comes down to the judging. The souffles are in the oven, so the family's paella is the first to be dissected. The judges will be looking for taste, texture and presentation. It's the moment of truth for the red team, the Sherrods. So, what do you think of this presentation? The prawns may be slightly overcooked, hence the sort of brownish rather than the rather nice pink. I think it's very colourful and that's the first thing that appeals to me. Mm. I like the squid. A little bit chewy, could do with um, more seasoning. Would you think this is a good dish? Indeed I do. Oh, how interesting. And now the blue ties are under the spotlight. It has a more rustic look to it. It's a, a bit more thrown together. The mussels are probably a little bit more prominent. It makes it like, you know, eat me. I think it looks very, very appealing. Slightly better cooked. Lovely. Again, I think it's under-seasoned. Um, this is going to be unbelievably difficult. I really, I really wouldn't have a clue at the moment. I think, I think, wouldn't you? So the Sherrod's prawns are overcooked and the whole dish is under-seasoned and while the Thai's fish is just right, their dish also lacks proper seasoning. It all rests on the souffles. The clock's on again.